Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity. Identify MAC and IP addresses. Just we will go through the objectives. In part 1, we will gather PDU information. And in part 2, uh, reflection questions. Right. Also, we will see this uh, background, what they given here. Uh, this activity is optimized for viewing PDUs. We know that uh, protocol data unit. The devices are already configured. We will gather PDU information in a simulation mode and answer a series of questions about the data we collect. Right. This is what we are going to do in this uh, packet tracer activity. Uh, we will come to part 1 gather pdu information uh, they given a note here review the reflection questions in part 2 before proceeding with the part 1 yes why it will uh, give you an idea of the type of types of information you will need to gather exactly so before we will uh, go through the questions they given in part 2 then we will come back to part 1 right we will come to part 2 uh, to the reflection questions yes here we can see uh, we have almost 20 questions here uh, right we will go through one or two questions uh, where the different types of wires used to connect devices did the wires change the handling of the pdu in any way did the hub lose any of the information given to it so like that we have around 20 questions uh, we can you can uh, go through all the 20 questions and uh, uh, then now we will come to uh, part two one so that uh, we will come to know what are the informations to be gathered now we will come to uh, step one in part two one gather pdu information as a packet travels from 172.16.31.2 to 10.10.10.3 so click 172.16.31.2 and open the command prompt enter the ping 10.10.10.3 command switch it to simulation mode and repeat the ping 10.10.10.3 command a pdu appears next to 172.16.31.2 right so and we have to uh, gather the information click the pdu and note the following information from the out outbound pdu layer tab so we have to get the destination MAC address, source MAC address, source IP address, destination IP address, then a device. These are the information that we have to gather. Then uh, click capture or forward to move the PDU to the next device. Gather the same information from step 1D. Uh, Repeat this process until the PDU reaches its destination. Right. Record the PDU information you gathered into a spreadsheet using a format like the table shown below. Here uh, they are given the format uh, for the spreadsheet. So at device, so destination MAC, source MAC, source IP address and destination IP address. Right. Here they are given uh, the information uh, from 172.16.31.2 to 10.10.10.3 so here we can see all the details right in the same way we are going to do here we will come to step 2 uh, gather additional PDU information from uh, other pings repeat the process in step 1 and uh, gather the information for the following test here uh, we have a number of tests we are going to ping this and we are going to uh, gather the information here is our uh, spreadsheet and uh, uh, we can see the information uh, from 172.16.31.2 to 10.10.10.3 here and this information already given in the packet tracer and also now we are going to ping from 172.16.31.5 to 172.16.31.4 and we are going to get these informations coming to the topology here we can see uh, we are going to ping from this uh, pc uh, to this pc that is 172.16.31.5 to 172.16.31.4 right we will come to this pc now uh, command prompt and here we are going to ping to 172.16.31.4 and here we can see we are getting the replay now we will ping after uh, uh, I mean in a simulation mode we will come to simulation mode 
and now we are going to ping from 31.5 to 31.4 yes yes here we can see the PDU now we are going to uh, collect the information from this PDU uh, coming to the PDU outbound PDU details uh, here we can see the details uh, here we can see the destination MAC address source MAC address we can see source IP address and the destination IP address also uh, we can see at device 172.16.31.5 yes now we collected all the information from this uh, PDU uh, at device 172.16.31.5 uh, here we can see the details uh, destination MAC address source MAC address source IP address and destination IP address now we will go to uh, capture or forward yes now the PDU is coming to switch one and we are coming to this PDU uh, we will get the information of outbound PDU details uh, here we can see the details, uh, destination MAC address, source MAC address, source IP address and destination IP address uh, on a device uh, switch 1. Now we are going to uh, fill all these informations. We are going to gather the, this information uh, into this uh, spreadsheet. Yes, here we collected all the information uh, from uh, uh, this PDU that is switch 1. Here we can see that again here we are going to give a capture or forward yes it goes to the destination 172.16.31.4 and uh, here we are going to get the PDU information at device 172.16.31.4 outbound PDU details uh, here we can see the details uh, destination MAC address source MAC address also here we can see the source IP address and destination IP address this information we are going to add to this uh, uh, spreadsheet yes all the information added here in this spreadsheet here we can see that yes here we collected all the information for this pink ping 172.16.31.4 from 172.16.31.5 now we are going to uh, ping 10.10.10.2 uh, from 10.10.10.3 uh, that is uh, in the topology here we can see from this laptop to this laptop and uh, our spreadsheet is already here yes we are in a simulation mode uh, coming to uh, laptop uh, 10.3 right so here we are going to ping to 10.10.10.2 10 10 10 and here we can uh, see the PDU I'm going to click on that so here is the PDU information here we can see uh, there is no source and destination MAC address uh, here we can see uh, source and destination IP address uh, so we are going to uh, give this information in, uh, in our excel sheet yes so we given all the informations of this uh, PDU uh, in our uh, spreadsheet here we can see that yes now we are going to click on uh, capture or forward we can see the PDU uh, in access point we are going to click on that outbound PDU details here we can see the details destination MAC address source MAC address we can see source IP address and destination IP address so we are going to add this information into our uh, uh, spreadsheet yes so we added all the information uh, from this uh, PDU to our spreadsheet here we can see that again we are going to click capture or forward we can see it goes to switch here we will check the PDU information coming to PDU outbound PDU details so here we can see the details destination MAC address source MAC address source IP address and destination IP address so here we can see these informations are the same what we have seen on access point and uh, here we are going to note this information in our spreadsheet 
here we can see the details on uh, switch 0 again we are going to click capture or forward we can see the uh, PDU on access point here again here we cannot see any source and destination MAC address but we can see source and destination IP address 10.3 and 10.2 right we will note this information okay so here I am going to copy this and uh, we cannot see any source and destination MAC address right again we are going to click capture or forward and we can see the pdu uh, goes to 10.10.10.2 and here we can see the outbound pdu details here we cannot see any source and destination mac address but here we can see the source and destination ip address we are going to uh, mark this information into our uh, spreadsheet so here we are going to give the device uh, 10.10.10.2 and uh, we uh, didn't get any source and destination MAC address and uh, here is our uh, source IP address so that is 10.2 and here the destination IP address is 10.3 right yes now we have done for uh, ping from 10.10.10.3 10.10.10.2 and we collected all the informations in the same way we can do for other three more pings uh, here we can see that ping 172.16.31.2 from uh, 31.3 also uh, ping 172.16.31.4 uh, from 10.10.10.2 and uh, ping 172.16.31.3 from 10.10.10.2 here we can see the details uh, for the ping from 172.16.31.3 to 172.16.31.2 here we can see the information collected from uh, the ping uh, from 10.10.10.2 to 172.16.31.4 Here we can see the information uh, for uh, uh, ping from 10.10.10.2 to 172.16.31.3. Here we can see our spreadsheet which gives uh, the information of all the ping what the spe specified uh, in the packet tracer activity. Now we are going to uh, see all the questions in part 2 one by one. Uh, we will go to the first question. Uh, where are the different types of wires used to connect uh, devices? Yes, obviously if you uh, observe this topology here we can see we are using copper and fiber. Now we will go to the second question. Uh, did the wires uh, change the handling of the PDU in any way? obviously uh, it's not uh, now we'll go to third did the hub lose any of the information given to it uh, obviously not here we can see that uh, in our excel sheet when it comes to hub we we have the informations here uh, destination mac address source mac address and uh, uh, source and destination ip address also now we will go to the fourth question uh, what does the hub do with uh, mac addresses and ip addresses yeah obviously uh, this uh, hub uh, does not do anything with the mac, uh, mac and uh, ip addresses now we'll go to fifth one did the wireless access point do anything with the information given to us yes obviously uh, because it repackaged it as wireless 802.11 this is what done by the uh, access point uh, was any mac or ip address lost during the wireless transfer no never uh, lost any mac or ip address 
Now we will come to a seventh question. Uh, what was the highest OSI layer that the hub and uh, access point used? Obviously, uh, it was layer 1. Did the hub or uh, access point ever replicate a PDU that was rejected with a red X? Yes, we have seen that uh, it was uh, uh, replicated, the PDU. Now we will go to ninth one. When examining the PDU details tab, which MAC address appeared first, the source or the destination? Obviously, we have seen uh, uh, destination MAC address. Now we will go to the tenth question. Uh, uh, why would the MAC addresses appear in this order? That means uh, the destination MAC address first and then the source MAC address. Obviously, a switch can begin forwarding a frame to a non MAC address more quickly if the destination is listed first. Yes, that's why uh, these MAC addresses appear in this order. So, was there a pattern to the MAC addressing in the simulation? No, obviously not. And the twelfth one is. Uh, did the switches ever duplicate uh, replicate a PDU that was rejected with a uh, red X? Obviously not. Now we will come to the 30th question. Uh, every time that the PDU was sent between the 10 network and the 172 network, there was a point where the MAC addresses suddenly changed. Where did that occur? Obviously it occurred at the router. Yes. So, which device uses MAC addresses starting with 00D0? Yes, it's for the router. To what devices did the other MAC addresses belong? Uh, to the center and receiver. Now, we will come to the 16th question. Uh, did the sending and receiving IPv4 addresses uh, switch in any of the PDUs? Uh, obviously not. Uh, if you follow the reply to a ping, sometimes called a pong, do the sending and receiving IPv4 addresses switch? Yes, obviously yes. So what is the pattern to the IPv4 addressing in this uh, simulation? So each port of a router requires a set of uh, non-overlapping addresses. And now we'll come to the 19th. Uh, why do different IP networks need to be assigned to different ports of a router so keep in mind the function of a router is to interconnect different ip networks if this uh, simulation was configured with ipv6 instead of ipv4 what would be different so the ipv4 addresses would be replaced with ipv6 address but everything else would be the same Yes, so in this uh, packet tracer activity, uh, we gat gathered uh, some of the PDU informations like uh, source and destination MAC address and source and destination IP addresses. And this uh, uh, packet tracer activity is only for uh, uh, identifying and understanding about the uh, PDUs. My dear friends, if you have any doubt, uh, please comment below. Also, if you like my videos, give a thumb and right now, I mean right now you can subscribe my channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your Gmail. Thank you.